So this video is set up to show how we can schedule a school with no periods and no subjects in a, in a way that uh, kids can learn in this cross-curricular way and teachers still get their required prep periods and uh, we maintain the proper student-teacher ratios. Okay, let's assume that we've got three classes of kids and they want to earn five credits. So you got Sarah's class who wants to earn a math, science, English, civics and careers, and a tech credit. Most class has got the same collection of credits as does Jules class here. Right? So the thing is that we can bring in a teacher, okay, teacher one for each group of kids. Teacher two and the third teacher. Now the only problem with this scenario is that Teachers can only teach three sections or three classes a day. So we need to bring in a fourth teacher to be able to pick up two of these sections. Okay, so that leaves teacher one with three. Teacher four now has two, so I can move. Teacher two has five right now. We need to move one of teacher fives or teacher twos uh, over here to, to, uh, to, to give them three sections, which means we need to bring another teacher in now because we still have these extra classes to teach. Bring this one over. Okay. So there we have okay, five teachers, three sections each. Now, when we look at from a timetabling perspective, we've got, let's assume we have four periods during the day. Period one, period two, three, and four. Now let's assume that each of these teachers has a specialty, right? So let's say teacher one is the is the is the math, and we have the science, the English, civics and careers. Our tech teacher will be teacher four, and civics and careers will be teacher five. So. Sarah starts with the math teacher in period one and then moves to science in period two, English period three, tech period four, and then she does the civics and careers in this float period. That's there, so that's the yellow. Okay, Muhammad's class. Muhammad gets math in period two, but is taking science period three, English with the English teacher period four, and moves to taking tech period one the tech teacher and again Muhammad has that flex class with civics and careers okay and if we take Jules class again Jules is taking math period three science period four moves to English period one and takes tech period two with the flex class, flex period with teacher five of civics and careers. Right? This organization leaves us with uh, each teacher teaching in their specialty or assigned to teach in their special area. So math, science, English, tech, civics and careers. And each one has their prep period as well scheduled within the calendar.